Royce, it seemed it seemed like a, a game that you, you were pretty engaged in from the second you walked you walked into that game. Just what was different last night versus tonight for you? Um, just more focus. That's about it. Uh, focus on what I'm able to do on the floor, and you know, I know when I'm doing that, nobody can match energy or anything that I'm doing. And, uh, just some more focus on my end. Andrew, go ahead, Andrew. When you sort of play, you've gotten used to over the whole time your career, like a certain amount of minutes, you know, 30 plus, mm -hmm. and you sort of know the rhythms of how, how to get yourself going. What's the challenge of kind of feeling like you're contributing in a small amount? Uh, you don't know how much you might play, 14 last night, 20 some tonight. And not feel like you're forcing it to cram in everything you're used to doing into a small amount of time. Like how do you be efficient without forcing it? Just gotta the game will tell you what to do. Um, even tonight, I mean, I probably I think I shot the ball twice until like the fourth quarter maybe. Um, but I can I know that I'm able to do everything else on the floor, defend at a high level, rebound, pass, um, and impact winning. Um, and I like to impact winning when I'm on the floor and whatever time that I'm on the floor. Um, my job is to continue making sure that we, uh, when I come in, extend our lead, or build it, um, or say the same, but don't go, you know, don't give up leads, uh, find ways to be effective on both ends, and whatever the game tells you what to do, that's what I'll, I'll do. Russ, I saw you had an embrace with Kyrie before the game. He's a guy who has come out and publicly supported you over the last year. What's that connection like with him? Uh, you know what, it's, it's, it's um, a little better this year. He actually, you know, he worked out, uh, worked out a couple times in the summertime. Um, just, you know, hearing his perspective and how he goes about his life is always interesting. And, and uh, um, I respect him for everything that he, he stands for, that he stands on, um, you know, especially his family and things. And obviously he's a great basketball player and um, he's done a lot of great things in the league. So um, mutual respect. Um, and I'm always thankful for him supporting me uh, through everything, you know, since I've been in the league. Russ, uh, over, the, over the course of this month, what do you feel like you learned the most about this team as far as the players, the coaches, and, and, and you? Ah, shit, man. Uh, I'm still learning. You know, we we still trying to figure it out. And through ups and downs, we, to me, me personally, I learn something new every day and just um, little snippets of how good we can be as a team when we kind of put it together and everybody put their best foot forward, you know, start with myself and um, you know, it could be special. We just got to stick to it. Uh, understand each game may be a little different. And, uh, and, you know, we figured out. Russ, there was a moment in the first half. I think I believe it was the first half. Uh, Dallas was at the free throw line, and you got off the bench and called Terrence over, and he walked over. Uh, what has your relationship been with been like with him? And kind of what is the advice you've given him as he's stepped into the starting role? Um... I always tell them that nobody should be on the court playing harder than you. Um, and, you know, that's something I tell myself when I'm on the floor. Um, and I tell them the same thing. So any loose balls, rebounds, defending, blocking shots, you know, the ball will come to you when you play hard and you're committed to defending and, and playing at a high at a high rate and, and leaving everything you got on the floor. Good things always happen. Um, miss always some missing main shots are part of the game. And people are going to miss shots. But one thing about it, you can never – judge or take away somebody and how hard they play and you know Terrence has the ability to be able to do that every night and that's what I challenge him to do. All right last question. And Russ uh, coming off a, a back to back you obviously we didn't get the W last night but you guys came out with a sense of urgency tonight from the tip and then when you came in you just took it to another level. Uh, do you feel like your team was engaged from start to finish and maybe this was the best win for you guys thus far in this early season? Um, definitely a big win for us especially after last night and uh, shows that we turned the page quickly and, and got prepared for the night. And uh, it was a good win for us. Now we just got to build on it. Obviously, uh, Denver coming in, defending champs, got to be ready to play. Thanks, Russell.